All right, so today, about this month, I have some really, really good news that I wanted to share with you guys. You know, in business and really down to the base of it, working on finances has always been something that I, you know, fixated over and I, you know, that's basically one of the reasons why I did entrepreneurship. Now I've been in business for, you know, 20, I'd say 20 months now. So that's about, that's a, a year coming up to two years, I'd say. Really, I started in November, December 2022, basically 2023, where I first put um, a $30 like waiting list uh, ticket uh, for the real world when it was coming out. That was back when Andrew was blowing up and, you know, he had the popularity. He was kind of like at his peak and... Yeah, I, I I think personally, you can officially consider yourself someone who's starting business when you've actually made a commitment to start a business, to you know provide a service or put money into something, put money into a business idea. You know, the intention is there. I always had that intention for years before that, but I wouldn't consider that necessarily doing business. I was just looking at content. I was just hearing things but I never took action on it so that's what I consider um, actually starting business and actually really starting your entrepreneurial journey is when you actually make a commitment whether financial or action wise or men mentally which leads to an action anyways to actually start a business so for me that was November December 2022 I'll round it up to 2023 all the way until now and it's been a rough ride I be honest like i burned through a few hundred dollars now honestly just with being in the real world and me slacking off and honestly not performing the best i wanted to not you know it, at that point it was more so like a personal learning process than actually a uh, financial transformation and you know, coming up to this point now in 2024 i've been in dl now for you know since it since it got publicly released since it publicly launched yeah i joined it in november 2023 when it was in a beta stage but i quit back then because you know and and, and stick stuck to the real world um until it came out in its uh full form that it is now now yeah i've been in dl for coming up to seven months now um entering eight months and i'll be honest I chose copywriting and I thought I would never ever, I, I thought I, like I thought, I thought that's how I'd make my money. And I thought I'd make my money that way. I thought I'd make my first $100 and $1,000 that way. But I couldn't be more wrong. And before I tell you guys what it is, it's really not, honestly, a disclaimer, this is very small, it's a very small thing. and. I've, uh, you know, since I go in there, I, I, you know, as, as per usual, it, it wasn't like I was surprised or anything, but I was surprised or anything because this took time and to make this much, I think at this much time, it, it was more so, how do I say it was, it was underwhelming to, to be quite frank. It's not that much, but it's a feat that. I've never crossed before in my life and in really on this journey, on this path I'm taking through entrepreneurship. And so I want to share it. I wanted to celebrate it with you guys. It's not that much. It's not that big, but yeah, yeah. I just wanted to share this with you guys because it still means something to this channel, to this, to the journey I'm taking to who I am as a person. Um, so before I get into that, let me tell you guys about how, this month is doing financially and how next month may also be looking financially honestly like if i were to measure it by just work alone i would be very disappointed but i don't know i feel like life has gone positively in some ways and otherwise not and you know i've learned to take that and just move on so first of all one my balance was at like less than 100 I didn't have too much capital left, so eventually I was going to deposit and 
put in some money anyways, but not as much as I had figured this month. Hence why I wanted to lay down the numbers um, for after this little scene that we do. Now, first thing that happened, I received a grand into my bank account, uh, pure, purely cash. And that to me is just getting insane. Yes, granted it was for my birthday, but I'm just trying to paint a picture for you guys and tell you guys the inflows and the outflows. So that is a grand and a hundred dollars into my bank account in total. Next is that I deposited four hundred dollars of just saved up money, some from my birthday, some from receiving like twenty dollars a week and just saving that up. That's allowance, um, an allowance for other stuff. Um, yeah, that totaled up to four hundred dollars. So I deposited that, that really quickly. Uh, I then also received more allowance that I did get. And so that was an extra $100. So that comes out to $600. Now, this is arguably just cash. It's just cash into my bank account because honestly, I don't use physical cash for any transactions whatsoever. You know, all of it's online. But by the way, when I say these numbers and I total up these numbers, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to spend it on any experiences or necessarily like content creation investments. I thought about getting a camera, but this is just pure capital. This is going to be pure capital for the business and you know, to ensure that I stay afloat with my running costs. It's not a lot, but to calculate it will allow me to understand the numbers and where I can expect to see some more cash flows in the future. So the next one and arguably the most important one is the payout I got that I actually earned, which is from affiliates. Now, I never expected to make money from affiliate marketing. Uh, back then, if you go back on my channel, the most popular video I did was a digital launch pad review. And I made that when I was an affiliate to deal whatsoever. It wasn't even out. It wasn't even a beta affiliate program. And I made that just to help people. Literally all I did and hence why, you know, partly because of my inadequacies, but that's why it's 40 minutes long excruciate in, in full detail of everything to the best of my own quality that I had at that time. It took me a whole month to make that video. But anyways, a couple months passed and that racked up like 5k views, which is amazing. It's boosted my channel past a uh, hundred subscribers, which was honestly just a, an intention, like just a goal of mine, um, whether I hit or not. It, it didn't really matter to me too much. Um, as you know, this channel is for documenting my journey, but yeah, I smashed through that goal. And now I'm also coming close to 200 subscribers as well, which is, uh, yeah, I, I lifted my goal up and it still is gonna get probably destroyed. We still have four months to 2024 and yeah, it's just, yeah, like it's crazy. That's not something I necessarily want to celebrate. Uh, I want to celebrate the affiliate payout that I got. Now, uh, I racked up about $120 of worth of um, affiliate balance. Uh, I had to set up my PayPal for that as I turned 18 and they took up a five little fee for that. So I was left with $116 and then transferred to, that to my account because I didn't really think um, I didn't think unless it got into my debit and I could spend it, I can't use that money because I've, I'm have i just very new to PayPal and I feel like they would lock my money up because I literally used the same details. I just used a different email. I literally linked my bank account. And I was like, I feel like I'm going to get limited. So I held it off a little bit more for about a month until I could get that payout. And basically fast forward to now, uh, around about a week ago, so I deposited the money, came straight through into my bank account, and I wholeheartedly believe, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to use that money. So there you go. That is my first $100 online. Um, and honestly, that's not going to be the last one. The next month, if nothing changes, I'm going to also receive another 70 USD, if not more, if not 70 AUD, I'm not too sure doesn't matter regardless because whether it's Sony AUD I'm literally just about to make my second $200 in a month which 
the first time it took me it took me oh it took me what in 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 full macro view 20 months but from the time that i uh, bought this thing which i'm going to show you it's been it's been now nine months nine months since i bought this bottle seven months eight months into 2024 had made a single dollar and realized a single dollar into my bank account until now i just want to get you guys to understand how small that really is but yet how how much that means to me still that i that i did that i achieved this and um yeah i don't know nonetheless it's still a very important goal to me and i want to celebrate it nonetheless and you know remember this moment for it is no matter how small it is you know as i said i think in you know in the long 20 minute rant that i did i said to appreciate the small things and to cherish you know the small things that we may take for granted so so when it's all said and done i will have about 1.6 1.7 grand for this month alone in my bank account as capital um that well, really, really, whether I spend it wisely or not, I have 1.6k to play around with now. That's a lot to me, I'm gonna be honest. I've actually never had that much money in my bank account. But yeah, this is just kind of like a, a little high for me right now. So yeah, so when it's all said and done, 1.6k, 1.7k that I would consider I made this month. And that to me is just, I'm grateful for, that I feel abundant, I feel happy, I feel fulfilled that I uh, that I achieved this. There's one thing I said before to my partners is that it doesn't matter how many times you fail, how many times or how long it takes, but so long as you, you reach it and you make it in the end, that's all that matters. And so, yeah, without any more in the emotional and fluffy talk let's go celebrate this win i have something special over here that i want to share with you guys so this is what i have i have the visible win that i've been keeping on my shelf for nine months now it is chilled it is ready to go now I just need to open it and hopefully I don't fuck it up. And also I just took out a class from my shelf. If you guys don't know, this is my visible win. This is the Eden Vale Sparkling Cuvée with the alcohol removed, by the way. With the alcohol removed. And by the way, even if it's alcohol, it's even if it's alcohol, I'm 18 now. I can drink this. I can I can smoke it and do that. <laughs> I can do that if I wanted to, but yeah, I I got morals. That will uh, save me until later. Yeah, so this is my visible win that I had up for nine months now. Um, I kept this on the top of my shelf. I never touched it. I respect the amount of self-control I had to just leave it up there and just look at it and not touch it. I swear to God, I did not lay a single finger on it for nine months until now, until that $100 came into my bank account. So I chilled it the night before, and now it is ready to go. If you guys do not know what a visible win is, if you are in DL, you understand. But for the non-DL members, this is something that you hang up on your shelf, that you put up somewhere where you can't reach it, but only where you can see it. And it's supposed to symbolize your first win, your first visible win. And basically, the idea is when you make your first $100 online, you take this and you drink it and you celebrate it. Then you then finally acknowledge your win. You internalize your win. And then that makes you think you're a winner. In turn, makes you act like a winner who wins. And therefore, then you win again. You repeat it. You celebrate. It reinforces again that you're more of a winner, that you are deserving of it. And this is just a rough analogy of what is said by Iman uh, in Module 3 of Digital Launchpad, within Digital Launchpad. But yeah, there's a good book on it, The Winner Effect. I have not read it yet. I really do want to read it. And yeah, basically that's it. You use this as a launch pad to basically signal to yourself that you've won. And 
that hopefully will reinforce the positive attitude for that to happen again and again. And I can definitely attest to that. My next, my next hundred dollars or close to a hundred dollars at least is literally going to happen next month. The thing that I've been waiting for to drink this for nine months now, is going to happen again in another month. And I probably will get another bottle as well. So yeah, without any more fluff again, um, I know this video is going to be a fairly long vlog, but I, this is important to me. I'll please guys, if you can stick through it um and you know celebrate that this with me it could mean a lot to me so without further ado uh this is chilled ready to go there is a bunch of it's uh sweating a little bit so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and uh drink the bottle for the first time all right let's hope i don't uh fuck this up Thank God. So there we go. Cork is off. I didn't fucking shoot across my room. Um, we put a hole in the roof. There we go. Open it successfully. Uh, let's go ahead and pour this. So guys, here we go. This is the Sparkling Cuvée by Edenvale uh, with the alcohol removed. It's 10 bucks, 10 bucks, super cheap. But the visible win, it means more to me than, than that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, try this drink. <laughs> wow, it smells like beer. I, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like alcohol. I, I just don't get it. It tastes like shit and like, it tastes like shit. I just don't, I just don't enjoy the taste of alcohol. I'd rather have like a uh, apple juice than like this shit. But uh, all right, cheers. <laughs> oh my god! If someone saw me doing this, they'd call me crazy. Wow. I'll be honest, it tastes like a beer, it, it does, but it's a lot more lighter on the tongue. It's very fizzy, of course. I can still get a, a taste of some fruit, some remnants of fruit. And I don't know, like I, I could actually drink this. I could definitely finish this within today or tomorrow, so. So, wow, well, yeah. What a sweet victory. I know this is, I just know this video is gonna be, you know, whether people watch it or not, I just know this video is gonna mean so much to me in my life and in my journey right now where I am. This is just, I feel proud. I feel grateful and I feel, I feel elated. I, I really don't know what else to say. Something so small as making a hundred dollars online, you know, online and not some BS like, oh, a physical transaction and this and that. Like, I'm talking online, bed, like, uh, this is, uh, we're talking about affiliate marketing here where people basically watched my video, clicked on the link, and eventually that tracking link stayed with them and eventually they bought and I simply received a commission of it. Now, one thing I want to address really quickly is um, that it's not copywriting, as I've been saying. And I want to say that like, yeah, honestly, I, I didn't expect to make money from affiliate marketing um, and being an affiliate of DL. 
but at the same time I also didn't necessarily want to as well. I genuinely just thought, as, as I said at the start, that I, I just wanted to, I genuinely just wanted to make my money and I thought I'd make my money through copywriting. I, you know, when I became an affiliate, I didn't make another video. I just optimized my description on my first review and I just rejigged some of the description. I fixed up some of the links, um, actually made it better. Uh, I think it looks a lot nicer now, a lot more cleaner. And that was it. I just left it there and surprisingly I managed to get a few people to join the Owen. To me that's that's amazing. Like don't worry by the way, I've had my losses where there have been people who joined on a monthly subscription, even a yearly subscription, that's like that was eighty dollars. And luckily I didn't get too disappointed as um I'm aware that there is a guarantee in place for forty eight hours, but literally within the space of 48 hours that person who joined with like a yearly subscription they refunded it and i was just yeah it, it stung a little bit but i realized like I, I wanted to know why they they left was it because of me was it because my review wasn't good enough um and that's all i thought about but that's in the past now i just want to say that uh, to comment on the fact that i made my first hundred dollars on affiliate marketing that, Hey guys, I didn't expect to, um, do it for affiliate marketing, but you know, Hey, ho, that's, it is what it is. Life happens. And, uh, that's just simply the circumstances that it came to. Truth is like, I could have said nothing about it and just left at that and celebrated this on my own. Cause I was going to do that. Um, regardless, I was thinking of doing that, but I realized this is something valuable that could be shared with you guys. And that's really it. So yeah, quick celebration. Um, and definitely a moment that I will remember for the rest of my life. And, you know, will be a statement on this channel, um, among the many important statements I've already made, you know, for the test of time until, you know, who, who knows where it'll take me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, with this moment, I want to say there are many, many higher mountains to climb and that this is just the start of my journey. So I want to thank my accountability partners for sticking with me for around about close to a like, couple months now, maybe about uh, six, six, five, four, months now, however long it's been, it's been a pleasure to, you know, sift my way through many various people, meet a bunch of new people. I want to thank DL, uh, the community that I've been in solely for the past seven months now and how much it's done for me, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, spiritually and physically as a person. It's made me much more confident in who I am and you know, if you want to really see uh, the full change of that from A to B to where I am right now, go to my very, very first video. Go see my very first few videos and just see how nervous I was, how timid I was. I, to be honest, I didn't know a tenth about business that I do now. So, yeah, I want to thank Deal. I want to thank my accountability partners. I want to thank Iman. I want to thank digital launchpad, you know, as a whole and the program, you know, if I didn't make that decision, what, seven, seven months ago, uh, to switch from the real world to DL, uh, I, I literally weighed the cons on like, just like writing, you know, their features back to back and how they compete. If DL was not made in the quality that it was, um, I would still be in the real world and I, i be honest, I wouldn't be too sure of where I'd be. So, you know, cheers really to Digital Launchpad and, you know, the community. You know, some of the people in there, the, the representatives of moderators, you know, Melik, Ali, 
Maria, Rebecca, uh, Mo, um, who else? Uh, Sam, Sam Kello. Really, anyone who's come across with me, you know, talked with me, uh, we've met, we've talked, we've had, had some fun, you know, talked some mindset, some serious mindset. I want to thank anyone, anyone who has met me, anyone who has subscribed to my channel, anyone who has came to my channel. Uh, yeah, I thank you guys because no, I really, really, really would have not done this without you guys. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I am going to drink the rest of this bottle for hopefully today and tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just save the moment, save uh, this wind I have. Um, and we will move on. We'll get another bottle as well with this sweet moment. Um, it has now ended. It is six o'clock. Now it's six o two. Uh, Savor the moment, savor my visible win, savor my first win ever to making a hundred dollars online through online business. You know, all by myself and you know, the environment that I've been put in. And uh, yeah, I what I'm gonna do next is with the 1.6, 1.7-ish, I will put it up on the screen, the actual number, the actual specific number. And uh, what I'm basically going to do is to make sure I don't spend it incorrectly. I think um, I'm going to put my accounting skills to this test. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically just budget that out for as long as I can and uh, see what are the outflows? Where is it going to go? Because it's definitely going to go to the digital launchpad subscription. But I also have software, so like I need to get a domain, a G Suite, etc. So I need clarity on those things. Um, so you know, it's great that I'm celebrating this, but <laughs> on the other side, like the reality is, like I'm not going to be able to enjoy necessarily any of this money. I'm going to have to put it all back into the business as capital. And calculate my run rates and see what can I do with that cash? How far can it take me? One thing I know that there's still a long way to go. This is great, but of course we need to continue on, move on, and uh, keep moving forward. Because I know there are many, many greater things, many higher and lower ups. There are many higher and lower downs that I have yet to face in my career, in my life, and on the journey that I am on.